With its unicorn startup status, Pipedrive CRM has definitely caught people's attention. But is it as ridiculously easy to use as it says, or is it all marketing hype? Hey, I'm Roberta from Tooltester and welcome to our Pipedrive review. Considering they position themselves as the first CRM platform made for salespeople by salespeople, I wanted to see if it holds true. But before we dive into the features, let's see how much Pipedrive will cost you. Well, the first thing to note is that Pipedrive doesn't offer a freemium plan. This is slightly disappointing, seeing as other CRMs like HubSpot and EngageBay do offer decent free plans. Pipedrive's paid plans are per user, so if you have multiple sales agents, this price could climb very quickly. If we take a look at the features available on each plan, you'll find that the essential plan is slightly limited, as you won't have two-way email sync, scheduling, group emailing or automation. This could be fine for some, but in my opinion, most will lean towards the advanced plan, which is a little pricey. I also wanted to point out that those who want access to live chat, web forms and the prospector feature will need to pay $39 a month for the lead booster add-on. I find this a bit cheeky, especially considering that you'll need to purchase credits to view the contact information of prospective leads. After all, only 10 credits are included. But before you get put off, let's take a look inside the tool. You'll notice it's quite minimalist, with the important elements in the menu running down the left-hand side. Because of this clean design, I'd say Pipedrive has one of the more intuitive interfaces compared to other CRMs. This is where your deals are managed and you have three views, pipeline, list and forecast. It's also worth mentioning that you can add unlimited pipelines on all plans. You can move deals between stages by simply dragging them. To create a deal, just click add deal and add the contact information required. If you go into an existing deal, you'll see you can store everything from notes to invoices. You also have an activity log of every action that's taken place so you and other sales agents have a clear picture of where a lead's at and what actions need to be taken. You can also add any information you're missing by adding custom fields here. In some other CRMs, you have to go into the settings to add custom fields, so I like how easy it is to do with Pipedrive. If we go into Insights, we have a whole range of ready-made reports, which you can customise, of course. Sharing reports is easy to do, just click here to share with team members or generate a link for public use. So what about email? Well, as I said earlier, you'll need to be on Pipedrive's advanced plan to be able to unlock email features like two-way syncing and tracking. If you're on the basic plan, you'll need to BCC your Pipedrive company email address for communications to be directed to your Pipedrive inbox, which is a slightly clunky workaround. So I get that that was a lot to take in. Let's recap the pros and cons. Pipedrive is a really user-friendly tool. You can set up an unlimited number of pipelines and you'll be able to make use of the excellent reporting features. On the downside, there's no free plan and access to certain features require paying extra. And there's also no email features on the basic plan. So, though it's definitely a well-designed tool for salespeople, the extra costs do put it on the pricier end of the spectrum. I guess I've given you a lot to consider, but I hope you found this review of Pipedrive CRM helpful. If you have any questions, drop them in the comment section below. Thanks for watching!